Let's have a look at what the Demogorgon thinks about every Stranger Things character. First up, we have Eleven, his major fear in Season 1. The Demogorgon would likely view Eleven with both fear and fury. It is, after all, Eleven who ultimately defeats it. That said, she might also be an object of curiosity, given her psychic abilities. Next, we got Mike. The Demogorgon might perceive Mike as an adversary, given his unwavering determination and the pivotal role he played in its downfall. To our big bad Demogorgon, Mike would be seen as an irritating yet formidable enemy. Our third entry is Will Byers, which might be seen as a precious prey. Given the Demogorgon captured Will and took him to the Upside Down, it may view Will as a prey item, or at the very least, a tool to spread its influence in the human world. Coming to Joyce and Hopper, the Demogorgon would likely see them as significant threats. They were, after all, the adults who played critical roles in its defeat. Especially Joyce, whose unwavering love for her son proved a potent force against the monster. Fifth on our list is Nancy. Nancy had a personal vendetta against the Demogorgon after it took her friend, Barb. She might be seen as a significant threat due to her courage and relentless pursuit of justice. Sixth, we got Barb, and who could forget Barb? She was the Demogorgon's first victim we saw. It might view her as a symbol of the human world it can invade and control, an easy target or a precious meal. Now, on to Dr. Brenner. Brenner could be seen as an unwitting ally, his experiments having created a bridge to the Upside Down, enabling the Demogorgon to cross over to our world. Then, we move on to Vecna. The Demogorgon might view Vecna as his creator, and a higher figure to look up into when it comes to evilness. And of course, how could we forget the Demodogs? These are the offspring of the Demogorgon, so the parent-child dynamic would be present. However, in the harsh world of the Upside Down, it might see them more as its foot soldiers than its children. And lastly, we come to the Mind Flayer. Although the Demogorgon and the Mind Flayer are both from the Upside Down, it's unclear how they'd view each other. The Demogorgon could see the Mind Flayer as a threat, a competitor, or perhaps as a higher power. 